Hi, this is Stefan from Conductor. And in this video, we're going to see how to connect Conductor platform to an Amazon MSK that's set in public mode. So what I did is that I created an MSK cluster and I selected SASL Scram for authentication. Now we first must associate a secret to create a user to connect to our cluster. So let's associate a secret and I'm just going to create a secret right now. And so let's store a new secret and it's going to be of type other. Now for username, you can enter whatever you want. For example, Stefan. And for the password, enter whatever you want. I will just enter password. So this gives us this JSON in key value formats. For the encryption key, we need to create a new key that is different from the default Secrets Manager key. So let's just create a key. I will choose a symmetric one to encrypt and decrypt. And this one as an alias for the display name, I will call it demo MSK. Click on next, click on next and next. Okay, let's finish this. So back into K uh, Secrets Manager, we can choose this demo MSK key. And now we need to name the secret. So it has to start with Amazon MSK. And then you put an underscore and you add whatever you want. So for example, I would say, well, this was my username, so I'll use Stefan. Amazon MSK underscore Stefan. Now let's click on next. Next. And finally, let's store our secrets. So our secret has been successfully stored. And now we're going to click on it. We're going to copy the secret ARN, go back in here and associate it with our cluster. Paste it. And now we have successfully associated one secret for the cluster public MSK cluster. Next, we want to make our cluster public. So to do so, let's go under properties and let's go for network setting. And here I need to apply public access. So let's edit public access. Now, if you get this error, this is because you need valid security settings to connect and to make it public. So let's edit the cluster configuration and we're going to create a new configuration right here. I'll call this one demo MSK public. Scroll down and we need to go to public access and we have the allow any, uh, everyone if no SEL found to false. So let's have it as false. And now we have this demo uh, cluster uh, that we can apply. So let's apply this cluster configuration, save changes. And now we need to wait for the cluster to be fully updated. And so my configuration has now been successfully updated. So I go back to properties, go to my network settings, and this time I'm going to turn on public access, which is allowed. So let's save these changes. And we need to make sure that the MSK cluster has inbound rules that allows TCP request in. So if I go into my MSK cluster, please make sure that for the security group you've applied, and I've applied a very permissive one. For this one, I've applied. As you can see, my inbound rules, currently I have none, but I can add them and I can say, well, you can come from anywhere. So I'm going to just say all TCP from anywhere IPv4 and save this role, which allows me to access my MSK cluster very easily. Okay, but make sure to have rules that make sense for you. You can limit this to your IP or to a set of different IPs. And you can also, of course, limit it to the DNS and the support of MSK. So let's wait for the public access to be updated. Now that my cluster is public, we now need to set up Conductor Platform to connect to it. So I'll click on View Client Information. And as you can see, I have a public endpoint. So that's perfect for me. And on the right hand side, I have gone to conductor.io and then you click on try for free. And then in here, you click on sign up for Conductor Cloud for free. You create your account and you arrive on this page and everything is for free. So you go to your home page and then you go to the admin. And the admin is where you can add and remove clusters. So let's go to clusters on the right and on the left. And as you can see, we have two clusters already available to me. So we have my playground and conductor playground. So my playground is just a personal cluster that I have with my conductor account, and I can just use it to send and receive data to it very easily, even from my local applications. And conductor's playground is my company's playground, so I can share it with other users that I invite into my team. 
Okay, but now we want to connect to MSK. So let's click on create cluster. And the cluster name is MSK public. And the technical ID is just random. Now for the public endpoints for the bootstrap server, I just enter this. And as you can see, there is a green. So the connection is secure. Okay, so next for the authentication method, we need to use SASL of SASL SSL. And the SASL mechanism is Scram SHA 512. The username and the password is what you have created in Secrets Manager. So for me, it is Stefan and then password. Let's test the connection. And I am now connected to my cluster. Let's click on Create Configuration and Save. And we're good to go. So congratulations. You've seen how to connect to a public MSK cluster. I hope you liked it. And I will see you in the next video.